So welcome to District 4, the best place to be for information and news. I am your host, Ayla, and we're here with the legendary A-Rod. Could Chris Roberts possibly be the first Jordan Belfort in AAA gaming? Yeah, we're talking star citizen, but not just the game, the investment. Let's talk about it. Okay. So a lot of, uh, when we started this whole venture, it really was just out of curiosity. We just basically said, you know what? Uh, there's this game, Star Citizen, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, look at uh, AAA Gaming, the first one. And then it became this long running joke, Star Citizen, Star Citizen. Well, it piqued the curiosity of a lot of people because a lot of videos in 2021 started popping up about inquiring into like exactly what is Star Citizen doing? And so, we decided in our research that we found out we had more questions than we were ever getting answers. We were really gonna just answer the questions, but in real life, there were more questions than there were answers. So how do you feel about, okay, so I talk about him being um, the Jordan Belfort, who is the investment, if you wanna talk a little bit about that. Actually, you were the first person to say that, so. So Jordan Belfort pretty much like, got people to invest in the things and promised like, how stocks or companies would uh, have huge returns because they were on the rise. So a lot of times the companies weren't really real or they were nowhere near where the level that they said they were going to be, where it was even feasible for them to make it there in the first place. So he got a lot of money through false investments and then all of a sudden, you know, everybody disappears and stuff, but the money stays with one person. And so particularly what Chris Roberts is doing, the owner of Star Citizen, is pretty much making all these promises without delivering on anything, but still taking advantage of the capital or the money. So it's like buying houses and stuff with the money that he's using for the game, right. but with no development or anything to show for it. So essentially people are kind of like looking for some type of proof for what's going on because it's grossed the most crowdfunding game in gaming history. It's made the most money. And just to add some facts to that, uh, so to date it has 465 million. Now, when we originally sort of reported the story, it was uh, suspected that that all came from crowdfunding. And at that time, maybe the majority of it did. But what we would later discover in our research is that they, Star Citizen eventually, starting from 2013, and then I think about two or three years past, they put out like some sort of demo. Uh, I won't even call it a demo, I'll say it's... It was trifling. Yeah, it was, it was not even a, like a real demo, but uh, it seems to be, appears to be, because all this is, this is alleged, what I'm gonna say right now, but uh, that it is more of a commercial for you to purchase, and I'm talking some of the things that are supposed to be in this game that doesn't exist yet. So let's say starships are in the demo. You can purchase those, and I think the going rate for some of those are as high as twenty three hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five. Twenty five hundred dollars. They have macro uh, transactions instead of micro. So, like, two K has micro transactions. The most you can spend is about a hundred dollars right. at one particular transaction. But you can spend two, three thousand right. dollars and start citizen for something that you can't even use. And so what they have to do now is start developing the stuff that people are paying for us. You're absolutely getting nothing at this point, but there's no proof they're even doing that. There's no release date. There continues to be no release date, but the money pool keeps growing, meaning they keep raising money and raising money mm -hmm. and raising more money and raising even more money. Um, and so the interesting thing too, um, that I wanted to make sure I brought out uh, about the, the Chris Roberts, the actual developer of, or the mm -hmm. developer of the game that doesn't exist. Um, he's known for not completing things. He actually has a reputation and the source that this comes from, it's, it's an article, one of the few articles we actually found mm -hmm. that was written by a blogger. Um, I think his name was Matthew Bird. Um, Yeah, that, that actually had spoken to some of the people that work there, and there's a lot of turnover, so some of the people that used to work there probably at the time that he wrote the actual article. Um, it, he has a reputation for making grandiose promises and not delivering. So pretty much what he's doing is taking the money and explaining to them how he's going to add 
something new to the game. Mm -hmm. And so they wait, then they pay for that. Then you say, well, now that you gave me this, I'm gonna do this. And so it's more at a point to where he can't deliver mm -hmm. on what he's been talking about. So people are, some people are really asking for the money back. There's, uh, I forgot the name of the dude, but there's a, uh, an older man that spent almost $30,000 towards the game for like add-ons and chips and all that other stuff. And that's a lot of money in general. You can buy a car with $30,000. Like, that's not even a joke. You can literally buy a car with $30,000. And he's spending it on a game. And he's not going to get anything that he paid for. He pretty much just threw $30,000 in the black hole. He would have been better buying drugs, honestly. At least he would have got something out of it. <laughs> okay, not that we're encouraging any <laughs> my, type of my drug Might as well buy a couple of things of cocaine <laughs> and get your money back. Uh, we do not approve of what the comments that our right. guests are making right. regarding what you should do with your money. Well, but. when you put in money into something, you're expecting something in return. Whether that's saving it, whether that's paying for something, expecting something in return. With drugs. Oh my you, God. Okay, <laughs> seriously. No, I'm, we're not. We're not, <laughs> we're not encouraging that by any stretch of the bad. But I did want to say that it was invest. $46 million was invested. Um, by one of the investors that really started to question it because people are, are, are just recently really questioning, okay, why is this game still to date? No release date, the only demo we've ever gotten, only the trailer that we actually saw doesn't show, um, I don't want to say good quality, but it, uh, just a game that would there's like a lot of differ from yeah that but the way. graphics are amazing i will say graphics <laughs> is one of the best <laughs> the, one of the best games they're putting a lot of time into graphics but that's all that they've done and they're talking about how they're going to make these multiple planets and each planet is going to have multiple elaborate cities right. and it's like why <laughs> like if anything like i said in the last couple videos that they might as well release something and then just add all that stuff later as updates but at this point you didn't got so much money, you have to have something to show right, for it. Right. And I want to clarify too, it's made reference that this is kind of like a Ponzi scheme. And I think people that follow investments automatically thought of that, but I wanted to define a Ponzi scheme to you just to show that there's a, it, it's a little bit more different than that. Just, just for clarification, I need to do the technical part, but it's a, a form of fraud in which belief in the success of the now of a non-existent enterprise is fostered by the payment or quick returns to the first investor from money invested by later investors. Now, it's not technically the same thing, so it is closer to Jordan Belt because it's an investment that he took money for and used it for something else. So that's just to make it a little bit different and to show um, how long running this can be because a Ponzi scheme can eventually run out and you don't get new people. But in a case like this, you don't necessarily need new people. You just need the continuation of the sort of, uh, just a continuation of either the people you already have or of, uh, you know, another promise, failed promise in this case. Mm -hmm. So I think it's worth looking into. Um, it's underneath the surface, it's in the undertow. A lot of people aren't really, you know, you thought about it, it was kind of funny at first, and then it was kind of like everybody was waiting. And then it was something that if you look, the deeper you look into it, the more, I don't want to say complex, but the, the more questions you actually have rather than actually having answers. Yeah. So it doesn't alleviate your questions, it actually creates more of them. <laughs> if you can, you know, just the reality of this. And then another thing about, uh, Chris Roberts is that he makes a lot of quotes about why the game is taking so long. And I want you to tell me as a hardcore gamer, is this an acceptable, uh, because it's repetitive really, but he basically said, and I'm gonna quote a little bit. He said um, that they were working so hard on the game, meaning he and the other developers, uh, that they, kind of got lost in the game and creation of the game. And so it made them push back <laughs> the timetable. But to me, just listening as just a regular casual gamer, that sounds like 
No. It sounds like, are you trying to define why you haven't given us a release date? What does that sound like to you as our coordinator? I don't think it matters whether you're ARCA or casual. It's the amount of time and the amount of money that they've had. Mm -hmm. You've had plenty of time to do something. <laughs> Cyberpunk has got pushed back a couple years. Right. But they released something with you know within the first couple of years. Mm -hmm. So at some point you're kind of like the amount of time that you're waiting and the amount of investments that you've had, right. you should have had more. At least your demo should have worked. Like it didn't even work well. Oh no. You know it was all glitchy and stuff like that. People are like sitting on top of their chairs, which is like why is that <laughs> happening? So it's like you don't even have like something quality that people can use to foster why it would take so long in the mm -hmm. first place. If you had like a really quality demo and maybe there's some, maybe you just could do everything on one planet but you couldn't do the other planets or something like that, then it wouldn't be so bad because people would have something to hold on to as you continue to develop. But again, I'm going to say this a thousand times, they should release something now and then just add on to it later. It'll save them a lot of the questions because people won't have to ask any if there's, you know, a product to be shown. So. At that point, I would like I don't even get how they keep getting money. That's my biggest thing. It's like after a couple of years, I would have been like, yeah, no, nah, you haven't. <laughs> I'm not going to keep investing into something, and you haven't shown me anything. Like if you can show me some type of data or some, you know, what your physical like um, developers are doing. Hey, show me what they've been working on. Right. Whether you know, and all they have is picture concepts. But I don't need pictures. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need to see these people. Like, oh, they're making these buildings. This is how far along they are with this, right. you know, world or this city or what this planet, whatever. Without that, you're pretty much just scamming people. Um, but just to, even to answer your question, and and just looking at it as a whole, and having worked in sales before, mm -hmm. part of your charm as a salesperson is to 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 give an appearance to give an impression um, to if you're really a, a sort of a, a salesperson that that doesn't always have the best intentions um, we don't know and this is just <laughs> we're alleging um, then you're really good at giving people just enough to give you a little bit more so just like okay I'll give you a demo okay I'll give you an explanation of how we created these game these uh um, there's a video that came out in 2021 that defines the gun that's in there and mm -hmm. how it originally was yellow and blah, blah. But it's not real because it isn't a part of this game that we don't ever see. Yeah. So I think it was nice to hold you over if you're really, some people are more obsessed with the obsession of getting this game to come out mm -hmm. and they really want to hold on to that than they are with really paying attention to what you're getting. Like, are you getting updates that are real, like traditional updates? Are you getting an update to encourage you to purchase more? And I give the impression that it's the updates to give you the impression to purchase more, but you tell me what you think. Well, to me, it's like this, like there's only so much you'll pay for to hear some words. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, you have to deliver on what you're talking about. And that's with, like, anything that you do. Mm -hmm. And so, again, like, there has to be, like, a certain level. One of the biggest things about other games um, is that they had a cap. So, they stopped receiving money at a certain point. Right. And so, at, at some point, you're like, okay, this is all we have to work with. Yeah. You know, let's see if we can get out of this. And then if you make a product and people like it, then you can get additional funding right. to continue to make something better or grow or whatever, add the features that you didn't get a chance to add. But the problem with this one is their funding is continuously still going up. Yeah. So they really have no reason to deliver on anything because you're just getting more and more money. Exactly. I, I totally agree with you because it, it, it's like I said, unlike a Ponzi scheme, Charles Ponzi was the original one that did that. But unlike that, it, that will eventually run out because you can't get new investors at some point. But not with this type of format. This type of format could literally go on, you know, as long mm -hmm. as, as, you know, they keep get, giving you, dangling the carrot. They're dangling a carrot in front of people with whatever little things they give you, whatever bits of information mm -hmm. or whatever quotes they give you or whatever um, demos of a demo of a demo <laughs> they, they release. Um, to, and you continue to put money in it with this sort of hope. It's like being in a bad relationship. Like you just <laughs> keep giving your time and energy to this thing, uh, hoping that the marriage will work rather than just getting a divorce. 
Mm -hmm. um, and there are people that are starting, there's a, a website, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, that uh, has started with people sort of saying, wait a minute, where's my money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they got about 8,000 people <laughs> in the website looking for the money back. <laughs> Which is reasonable, Which right? Which is reasonable. At Earlier point. I explained how somebody spent $30,000 and they have nothing. <laughs> they got every ship in the game, but they still have no ships in the game. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, at some point, yeah, you gotta, you have to hold them responsible to some level. Right. And I think, too, it's never really happened in game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, to be a little more cautious in investing in other things, like, you know, because of people like, you know, uh, you know Charles Ponzi. Jordan, Jordan Belfort. But you don't really see that in game. Most of the time, every time before Star Citizen, there's been a delivery. And again, we're not saying that they won't deliver. I'm just posing the questions that are happening up until this point when you do your research on why this game hasn't been released and the type of character of the person. This is not to assassinate his character or even say that I know him well, but just the reports of the people that have met him are all saying that he generally yeah. promises things, even to the people that work there at, you know, the developer's store, and didn't, they, he doesn't deliver. So, so now you got questioned about the employees. Maybe even the employees aren't even staying long enough for him to even finish the game. This is true. There's so many other factors outside of just him taking the money. People might not be staying. <laughs> employees might be on strike. Like, I'm not working until you deliver on this that you told me. Um, He's out there taking vacations and stuff, yeah, and this game and ain't even done. Yeah, are buying houses thing. and yachts and <laughs> all over the place, doing God knows what, turning up all day on our tab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we still ain't got nothing to show for. We wonder why the game ain't done. Well, he not ain't nobody working on it. Right. They just out there chilling. <laughs> that could actually be a possibility. That's the problem. Well. That could yeah, honestly could be, a be a possibility is that he's just not working on it at all. And maybe since he's been funded so much, he's like, well, I can live the rest of my life like this. Yeah. So why would I, you know what I'm saying? Right. And there could be a possibility that the developers outside of him are really trying to work, but are just unable to. Or they have to keep going to, from, you know, back to square one because he doesn't approve it. And it could be a possibility that he started out without, with the intent on finishing the game. We mm -hmm. want to give him the benefit of the doubt here because this is new information. I think it was really something that no one had ever mm -hmm. really looked into or in this depth. Maybe he needs more developers. But can he keep them though? I don't know, but if <laughs> you, you know. keep adding more and more stuff to the game, that's a lot of work for you know however many people you have. And anything that takes a lot of time and effort in order to minimize it, you add more people, right? Yeah. Victoria's Secret has a lot of employees for a reason. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people want their stuff. If they only had seven employees and you're making all these promises of right. shipments and we'll send you 50 boxes of this, that, and the third, it, you're not going to have enough manpower in order to get it done anyway. Right. So there's a whole bunch of factors. Again, more questions. We don't even know because I, we're not going to get in touch with Chris anytime soon. But, he may contact us. Yeah, at this point, he might call don't me. Don't send us hate mail, personally. start sending people. Feel free. I'll answer it. Um, but at this point, it's kind of like, when you look and do more research, it's kind of like what I said was yeah. happening. I'm just going to leave that there. And, and you're banking on someone that has a, a reputation of not following through. I, I just, when I read that, I couldn't believe it. I was like, so you're basically saying this is a person <laughs> that gives Empty grandiose promises. ideas and doesn't follow through with them? But, um, and I'm investing in this part? <laughs> This now unfinished project. And I wanted to also bring to the attention how long this could go on. You know what I mean? Because I think when you think, you think ending at some point eventually, but not with the way that it was set up. So pretty much they add new stuff that you can purchase in order to keep people like spending money. And That's why they put the ships in there. Mm -hmm. You know, $2,500. Oh, well, you know, they're all, they must be almost done. Let me get this so when it comes out next right. week, I'm going to be ready. Yeah. Five years later. Right. Nice. Like, now we got to make this city. Oh, okay. But you got to pay in order to get there. Like, all right. So we don't want to. I hate you, Chris. <laughs> okay, we do not. District Court is not 
express or agree <laughs> with the views of our guests. But <laughs> I hate you, Chris. Um, I really, we did this so that you would take a look at it. Uh, you know, in the way that we sort of just happened on it and these, you know, feel like people were investing in it and thought about it as an investment ourselves, you know, because it's a, it seemed like a good investment on the surface. And then we kind of just joked about it, like, mm, you know, I don't know, it's not coming out and let's, you know, and kind of just checking on release dates. And the more we got into it and I thought, these are questions that people are thinking about. It's questions that people are not thinking about. You're just mm -hmm. investing, basically, but should be. Because sometimes you get into something and it starts out one way, which may be a possibility here, but it ends up something else. When it starts to turn, that's the time to pay attention. And I feel like Star Citizen, in my opinion, so don't send me hate mail, <laughs> uh, took a turn somewhere. Yeah. That they everybody might have started out with all these great intentions and whatnot. And then money came in and your eyes get a little big, right? <laughs> because you know you're getting tax-free dollars not, not, they're completely tax-free but you know you're getting money and you're like well you know maybe I'll raise my salary a little bit and, you mm -hmm. know like, yeah get myself you know I need a new car maybe I'm a new car and it kind of spirals into the thought of it almost being free money but nothing is free <laughs> and you can't it's like in in regular fundraising you can't take restricted funds that are designated to one thing and mm -hmm. use them to keep your offices open. It is illegal. You are not able to do that. Well, same with investing in something that may not ever happen. Yeah. And, and it's I, crazy because Fortnite gets a whole bunch of money and they manage to update that game all the time. <laughs> so I can't even say it's not possible to a degree. Maybe the graphically, they don't have as many graphics, but they have the Avengers. Now they got different superheroes. They have so many like like real life endorsements and you know things from yeah. different entities you know a part of their game that they've meshed together with their game in order to make the people happy for investing into them but are so, you able to play fortnite right yeah okay exactly. and then they just that's update what i'm saying, that's what I'm saying. exactly <laughs> so that's why i said you can literally do the same thing as other games are doing to where you make a beta and then you just fix things yeah. along the way and release it along it'll make people happy because then it refreshes the game when you get something new yeah oh now we can go to this planet or you know oh now they just added this city well let's see right. what that you know what i'm saying <laughs> so at this so point true. like you could honestly probably even make more money by adding that okay. stuff later but have something out now do what I said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I completely agree. I think we should have some fun. We should have, if you're going to do multiple cities, we need one city. <laughs> you know, Give us a city, put some of that stuff mm -hmm. we pay for in there, and let us play the beta. And then add as you go along. I don't see the problem with that. I really don't. They it's do. Done, <laughs> uh, it's done every, all the time. So what is different in, in this case? You know, even if you want to perfect the game, you could. There's downloads. Everything's on the computer. That's what I'm saying. You can update it. You can just <laughs> yeah, update you it just virtually. Update it virtually. You don't even have to go to anybody's house and update it. You don't have to go to the <laughs> store. You just update the game. You can buy everything online. So just update. Stop being lazy. Okay, he's harsh, but um, <laughs> uh, I think it's more that it kind of got out of hand, and that mm -hmm. would just be my opinion on it. I feel like it might have started out with the best of intentions, but did not. Um, you wanted to add something before uh, we may hit this story again as developments because I feel like it's something new that people are thinking about it's the first time we even took it seriously I mean we have been cracking that same joke <laughs> you know? um, so I think it's something that no one we didn't think to ask the question I mean we posed the questions and in a joking way but then we realized it was kind of serious you know, there's, yeah. there's a lot of money that people are investing into this project. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. There's no way you have that much funding. And other games have released with significantly less funding and you have nothing to show for it. And we can end with that. That's mm -hmm. the best quote ever. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, thank you for watching until the end. Do look for more videos from us coming with regards to uh, just, video, just gaming in general. But we might have to do an update on Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.